सुथरा भी है First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Suho and his team for uh, organizing for time excellent organization. Can you hear me? Okay. I would like to congratulate you and your team. So thank you very much uh, for the invitation and also for the organizing this congress. I'm going to talk about the therapy in Turkey. Actually, we are always a little late, so I, I have to speak as much as I can. But it's not so, as also Dr. Suko mentioned, it's uh, very uh, popular since in the ancient times. Uh, many Greek uh, physicians used this uh, treatment modalities to become those peace and Galen. So, it's very uh, popular in ancient times in Anatolia. So, next one is also had a significant place in the Ottoman Empire time. Uh, and also Dr. Suko mentioned it is uh, mainly used for purification. Uh, it's a kind of uh, substitute kind of heart preservation and protection from the disease and the uh, second treatment of the disease. As it's known that Ottoman Empire time, the empire and also uh, top executives like Pasha and other uh, military uh, service, uh, services, they use uh, lead treatments every year, especially in May and June, because of their protective effects against heart attack and stroke. Uh, it's also used in the uh, ordinary uh, people, but after this regulation uh, on traditional and complementary medicine, this therapy was formally adopted by the Ministry of Health in uh, 2014. Uh, following this regulation, also uh, the details on the therapy application have been determined by the Ministry of Health uh, how the education training uh, certificate program will be held and who is responsible from this uh, who is going to be responsible from this training uh, program who will get this training program another good uh, news uh, about this legislation is uh, also clinically clinical research and traditional and complementary medicine applications was published. It solved many problems with the research, with the research on uh, this uh, therapy. Okay, according to this legislation, who is responsible or who can apply this leech therapy? Only physicians is allowed to use leech therapy in our country uh, and other uh, healthcare professionals can use only under uh, physician's supervision, and dentists somehow can use this uh, method, but only their own field for first uh, um, or something like this. Uh, and uh, how, when, uh, which type of uh, disease we can use it, uh, especially for supportive uh, therapeutic purposes, and uh, there are unit and center. Unit is uh, for uh, ambulatory services, and center should be uh, should uh, usually they are hospitals. So in unit, uh, they can be used uh, for degenerative joint disease like osteoarthritis, or relieving pain in varicose veins, or relieving pain in such disease as lateral epicondylitis. So in unit, uh, in ambulatory services. They just allow for this uh, purposes for uh, leech therapy. Uh, on the other hand, if you want to use uh, venous insufficiency uh, for leech therapy, uh, it should be a hospital. hospital. So it's called a center. Of course, you know uh, when we should use, when we shouldn't use the leech therapy, especially uh, children under 18 years cannot be uh, treated and also some uh, after before surgical operations or hemorrhagic diseases and anemia and many allergic, if you have allergic disease uh, against lips uh, and if you have several uh, psychiatric disease 
so uh, you are not allowed to use this beach term. And there is a standard standardized uh, training program. A uh, uh, total of this uh, program should be 60 hours, and uh, half, almost half of it is theoretical and half of it is practical sessions. And uh, after getting the certificate, you can uh, use uh, leech therapy. Even you are physician, you are not uh, uh, allowed to use uh, leech therapy. And the validity of the uh, period of certificate is seven years. After seven years, you have to uh, repeat it for this type of examination. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, 21 medical practice is uh, authorized by the Ministry of Health. And at the end of the 29, uh, 2019, uh, more than 1,200 uh, 1, physicians is a uh, training program. Uh, only uh, disinfected uh, medicinals and hirido verbana could be used for these purposes. Uh, no leaves collected from the nature uh, can be used for this, uh, for leech therapy. Uh, and after usage of the uh, leaves should be discarded as a biological uh, uh, medical waste. They, they should be considered as medical waste and with the medical waste control regulation uh, we should discuss according to this legislation. Uh, what type of leads we have in uh, Turkey? We have up to four different types. It is the medicinal, orientized, leaky, orthodox, who mentioned this. It's newly uh, recalled and newly found uh, and Varvana. But mostly we have Varvana and it, uh, unfortunately, uh, medicinalis is very low in our country right now. So usually, little medicinalis and uh, little used for this purpose. Uh, we can say that, uh, not like Europe, but uh, we preserve uh, our uh, leaks in our country. And Turkey is the uh, only country that still exports leaks collected from the nature. Uh, approximately uh, two-thirds of the world's medical leaks trade in the, in, uh, the health of our country. But unfortunately, unfortunately uh, they, they are in danger uh, of extinction due to its excessive use, unfortunately. Uh, so our country uh, signed an agreement, uh, it's a convention of the international trade of endangered species of wild fauna and flora. So according to this agreement, uh, we should set quotas on the collection and export of Hirida Mitznaj and the Verbana and the other leaves. Uh, in 1996, allowed to uh, export 10 tons, but nowadays uh, the government only uh, lets uh, allow us to uh, less than five tons. So there is a prohibition. And also uh, they set some prohibited uh, time for uh, collecting these leaves. And uh, now it's extended from March to uh, July. Uh, again, uh, according to our regulations, uh, leaves to be used on humans must be purchased from companies, not from the nature, I told you, and producing them in special, specialized farms. Uh, there are some farms in our country, and uh, this farm especially produce uh, Hirido Verbana, and uh, for uh, good uh, produce production, uh, there are some training courses, uh, organized and they are being given on medical leech breeding. Uh, until now, there are four core courses have uh, been organized and students from Azerbaijan, China, and Uzbekistan, even Russia, they also have participated. You will see the... Who are the institutions uh, dealing with this uh, leech therapy? Mainly, uh, Ministry of Health is the main actor, of course. 
there are two departments in the Ministry of Health. One is the uh, Department of Traditional <coughs> Complementary Medicine Practices. And we have also recently established institute on this subject, and it's Institute of Traditional Complementary Medicine. As an NGO, it's non-governmental organization. We have International Biotechnical Society, and we have the Society uh, the East here, Dr. Dr. Mumjola, and the Secretary of the Society. And also, uh, there is a Society of Traditional and Complementary Medicine Specialists. So uh, in Turkey, we have organized two international or, uh, conferences on biotherapy. Of course, the main one of the main subject is the therapy. The one is held in Sivas and Istanbul. And also, our Ministry of Health organized very well uh, a very uh, big congress, two international congress in Turkey in 2008, 18, and 2019. Also, Dr. Sko was the, one of the <laughs> uh, What about the financial aspects? Uh, leech therapy is not covered by the governmental uh, general health payment system. Uh, patients are paying their fees. Uh, it's roughly uh, 8, 10 euro or 12, 12 euro. It depends where you get this, this uh, treatment. Uh, but there is an ongoing effort by the Ministry of Health to change this because using each therapy reduces uh, uh, many, uh, uh, many uh, unnecessary uh, investments on uh, medicine. Key research, uh, it's weak right now. <laughs> there are 90 publications if we search the public <coughs> uh, and if we use the leech and turkey. Uh, and, and most of them about the uh, side effects of uh, uh, leech and something. But recently, uh, there's an uh, increase in the therapy studies and uh, new regulations about, the clin about uh, clinical uh, research. Uh, I'm sure they will encourage the use of therapy in traditional complementary medicine because uh, we had an ethic problem in uh, Turkey because many physicians on the other hand they are against this therapy and they don't allow us they don't want to give us ethical uh, approval so this I mean, I'm sure this new regulation will solve this ethical problem so conclusion uh, as I am a physician, uh, Hippocrates, the uh, uh, motto is our motto also, human non necessary so we shouldn't harm first. So uh, if we, it's used by the trained personnel, uh, so for the right disease and symptoms, it uh, can be important supplements of conventional therapy, but uh, if it's used unnecessary, uh, unqualified persons and inappropriate conditions, uh, of course, could uh, lead to life-threatening consequences. Uh, with the regulations uh, on the with the regulations and legislations on traditional complementary medicine, this therapy was based on a legal basis, so it's good news. Uh, should be included in the uh, health payment system in order to uh, that more people could profit uh, from it. Of course, we need quality control and standards should be introduced for the production of this in accordance with the uh, good manufacturing practice regulations. So thank you. Uh, so I want to remind you that if you be a member of International Biotech Society, we will be uh, pleased and we will contact because uh, therapy is one of the biotherapy. Thank you, Dr. Oscar. Уважаемые коллеги, здесь вы видели информацию о том, что в Турции в этом году прошел второй всемир, второй конгресс по традиционной медицине. Это было прекрасное мероприятие, которое турецкое правительство и турецкое министерство здравоохранения провели в Истамбуле. 
Следующий конгресс запланирован в 2020 году. Я считаю, что вот на таких конгрессах это честь и уважение турецкому народу, что вот такие конгрессы проводятся. Почему? Потому что более двух с половиной тысяч участников было на этом конгрессе. И востребованность нашего направления была очень большое, потому что вот как раз наши турецкие коллеги, мы очень плотно там общались, и буквально не было свободной минуты для того, чтобы можно было вот просто отдохнуть, потому что было очень насыщенные встречи и очень насыщенные разговоры. Поэтому я также приветствую вот наших турецких коллег. И э, были названы сайты, пожалуйста, выходите на эти сайты, пожалуйста, приезжайте на эти конгрессы, потому что э, турецким докторам, нашим коллегам есть что показать. Это очень хорошее направление и очень важное движение со стороны правительства э, турецкой э, Турции. И э, также э, все это дело находится под контролем первой лидии э, Турции. Спасибо.